<laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> oh my god. It's so nice to see the trap. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh. This is so that? cool. Is that a sea? No, it's water that's collected in the ground. Hey, there's a pontoon. We need to use this place. We're on the right track. Never heard. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Oh, my God. Yeah, now that's <laughs> music. The only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. He is the personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Holy crap, that was... That might not have hit anything yet. Although, I'm kind of wondering how far that wave might maintain its height. That bridge could be in trouble. Um, but... That was impressive as hell. I'm gonna show you what I've done with Starlight Drive-In. You're out of uniform, sir. Back. I like that their eyes start glowing red as soon as you go hostile on them. Oh, look at this. Okay, here's your Jeffrey's tubes. That's hilarious. I love it. Holy skunk sweat! That... Ah! Hours later... <laughs> oh boy. It's pretty amazing the difference the rain makes in the controllability of the car. What a time to say that. <laughs> my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. Ah. Fools, Rota! Talos be with you. What was that, Legate? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting some. They seem a little unhappy with me. I can't imagine why. Uh, this fire that's going to make the ship go faster, right?
No, I think we're going to go with Galaxy, unless Defiant is... Actually, Defiant's not too bad. Let's stick with the Galaxy, though. That looks good to me. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, that, nope, that, um, I haven't even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. It's a little casual arson. This is the end. Oh. Reported in your area, potentially armed and hostile. Wow. Received. Mobilizing now. Right now. That was brutal. Hold God. Damn it, and Stara. Ah, oh, Jesus. Make little help here. That was not me. I didn't do that. I guess this way it is. Now, where's this other guy? you used to be a used chip salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. dust storm from far off people see the approaching wall of driven sand and scatter to seek safety before the scouring wind because this area just doesn't get enough weather hardship as it is Excuse me. Oh, you are so lucky. It's made out of people. They are making food out of people and we know that. We are actually okay with that. Oh, wow. This game suddenly got so dark. Alright, let's go for Circus Mac Maximus. Oh, 
Oh, let me guess what that's going to be. Oh. Hey, I was wrong. Okay, he was definitely no behemoth. doing pretty decently so far. I'm sorry. I didn't actually mean to kill you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the magic? Why does it do tricks? Nice. Because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Open machine. Climb in machine. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. <laughs> Wait, what? Open machine? Oh my god! That's the ISS Enterprise F, I believe. Or is that the F or the E? No, that's definitely Odyssey class. Twenty-five percent of it units destroyed, so that means there's only four. Whatever is launching those LRMs is the last. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. I should have kept my mouth shut. Wow, it looks so nice. This is so good compared to before. Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Just hey, as soon as I finish looting. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Just give me half a second. Priorities first, sir. That's a handy cloak. Too late. Oh, whoa. Oh, crap. Ugh. Let me guess. You escaped with only a flesh wound. Oop. Well, that's unfortunate. 
My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? Uh, I apparently don't know anything about playing space games. Well, you're not gonna learn by quitting. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Uh. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to relaunch the game. It crashed on me, which, like I said in chat, maybe for the best, given how badly I mucked up that takeoff. I know, I know. I just, I often forget, but I do know. Thank you. Of course, sir. I wasn't talking to you. Well, who else could you be talking to? Should I be concerned about your mental well-being, Commander? Sorry, dude. It was you or us. I picked us. Oh, buddy is over there. No! No, sir. No. No. Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everybody doing tonight? Hey, Aaron Lore. Hey, Matt. I hope everyone's doing well. We are going to be playing some Zelda this evening, so let's see what we can get up to. I'm doing all right. It's been uh, not a bad day. I have felt a lot less tension and stress the last few days. Callan Ray, what's going on? It's good to see you too. So we should be right around the entrance to the Giga Clan headquarters hideout thing. I kind of feel like this is a bit of a trap. How's the temperature? It's a bit... Okay, I'd better stick with my current outfit. Well, no. I do have that outfit, though. Yes, I see what you did there, too. Looks like a door. Nope, that didn't do anything. Now, do these all have spaces under them? Yes, they do. Okay. Interesting. How are you feeling today, Aaron Lore and Callan Ray? I hope you're both doing better. Your browser was still saying City Skylines. Yeah, I I actually updated my info multiple times, so I'm reasonably certain it's stuck. So I'm glad you got it corrected on your end. 
Improving slowly, need to feed the cat soon? No problem, you do what you gotta do. Okay, so all of these look like doors. I guess the only thing I haven't really done so far is this. Hmm. I guess I can ditch the soldier's bow. Doing a bit better, managed to give myself a haircut today and the wife helped me get a shower. Ah, oh, very nice. Very, very cool. Got it, Gallinary. I'm a little behind on showers. Not too bad. Just like a day behind my usual schedule or so. I am willing to accept input here if anybody knows how I can proceed. Actually, here. Let me... See if there's anything reactive around here. Or... Hey, Cleric, how's it going? Presume there's some clue to do with the torches. Tapestries? Maybe. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Thank you.
we have to loot the entire place, of course, so we need to burn everything. I don't know if you guys realize this, but that's a standard practice when looting places, is you burn everything down before you actually take anything, preferably. Rude. Nothing there. <laughs> this is a job for the Master Sword. Okay, so only one actually had treasure, and one is the way forward. Now, surely setting fire to the place won't have raised any alarms or suspicion or anything of the sort, so we should be very okay to just kind of wander in. There's definitely not going to be any kind of a trap. The keys surely didn't make any noise, yes. Exactly, exactly, Blue Buddha. And there's no way that that's any kind of uh, bait for a trap. Hey, what are you doing here? This is the hideout of those Yiga thieves who stole the Thunder Helm. If they spot you, they'll call their friends for sure. There's no way you can take them all on. Oh, this is Barda. So either she's bait for a trap that is meant to lure me in, or she actually was not a double agent after all. If only you had some way of distracting them, but I don't know how. All I ever see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. Listen, this place is dangerous. You should get out of here while you can. I can take care of myself. There's no way you can take them all on. Okay, I didn't need a repeat of the whole conversation. Alright, let's... Save. Cannot save. Rude. I've never played this before, so uh, try not to talk about anything that I won't have done yet. I don't think that counts as a spoiler. but uh, And uh, as far as mechanical help goes, I will actually take mechanical help. I'm just, you know, I don't want to have any forewarning about story events. 
Excellent. Thank you, Blue Buddha. I appreciate that. You played precisely 22 minutes of the game. Most of what I've played of the game... Uh oh Nope. Oops. I've played a couple of times this year, and then everything... Oh my god, it's so loud. Hang on. Everything else that I've done was in, like, 2020 and 2021. So I basically took a year or two off, and it was only right at the very beginning. Oh, jeez. Okay, so uh, this is back into my wheelhouse then. We actually have to stealth. That's kind of cool. You beat it twice and have watched several streamers play through it? That's awesome. I need to finish it finally. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're back here. That's not that bad. Have a good night, Aaron, though. Thank you so much for stopping in. I need to finish it before Tears of the Kingdom. You've beaten it once, but watched lots of people play it. Mm -hmm. So the banana thing, clearly a, cl a clue. Uh, let's see. Why did that... There we go. I just want to see, this is kind of my attempt at seeing what this is going to actually do. Because I don't know how this stealth mechanic and distraction mechanic is supposed to work yet. So I just want to get an idea. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that animation. I, uh, hmm. Okay, I'm not actually all that certain how that helps me, though. Well, I guess now he's distracted for a longer period of time. Oh, crap, where am I actually trying to get to? Well, I guess it kind of works.
Oh, that was not good. Um... Sapphire, not bad. Now it kind of looks like there's stuff I need to loot on top of those things, but I don't know how much of a need it really is. Getting sloppy at your post there, sir. I think that was enough of a distraction. It's a good thing I have a lot of bananas. has to be a reason this is a junction so let's investigate this ladder too I suspect just going directly in there is going to end poorly treasure trove. Who knew bananas would become one of the key stealth elements of the game? There. All mine now. It's a shame this is all walled in. I can kind of get a look and a bit of a preview of the area. I can't really do a whole heck of a lot else though. Oh, no, no, never mind. I can actually go here. So 
So, oh, there's a ladder there. What? Now, is that a ladder that's up to this area or someplace just adjacent? Adjacent, okay. Alright, so we got a guy being stubborn about being there when he really shouldn't be. I mean, I guess I could glide around here too. I'd probably fall too quickly to make the roof of that building though. Plus I've got not one but two guards down there that could potentially spot me. Rude. How dare you, game. Um, how many bananas do I have now? I think the honest answer is probably all of them. 44, not bad. So it's looking like we've got four guards in here. I don't really know what our goal in this room is, except I presume at some point we're going to have to get past that guy into the corridor beyond. Plus, I probably want to try to loot as much as I can, so at a minimum, I would want to try and grab that chest up there. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> This is awkward. Okay, stealth is def definitely imperative. Ow. <laughs> That's going to start me all the way back at the very start, right? Oh, right, and I it wouldn't let me save, so I don't have a choice. Oh, that's, that's some real pain there.
Okay, where's our friend? It looks like he's off on that other corner. Oh, just coming up around here. So we'll have to wait till he circles around. Really? Least curious guard ever. Sir! I don't want to waste all my freaking arrows on you. Or I could just do that, I guess. I know I didn't get the thing in the chest, but I can live without that. this one okay so we don't want to try to glide over to grab the chest because that worked badly trying to think of where else I might go. I guess it's probably easier to approach from the ground floor. It's frustrating that they won't let you save. This isn't a terribly long level, is it? Because I, I appreciate stealth. But... Without the ability to save my progress as I'm going, that's going to really put a damper on my enthusiasm for it. I have no regular arrows. Crap. Okay, good to know. Thank you. I want to 
just test out a theory. Which I think I've already tested and determined it didn't work, but... I'll try it again a little bit. Nope, that absolutely did not work. This is also not going to work, I'm sure. Oh! Okay. Never mind. Theory confirmed. I was wonder- oh my god. I love how the guards aren't reacting to this at all. Even the guy right there patrolling doesn't seem to notice anything unusual. That's amazing. If by the past you mean like two days ago, then you are correct. How are you doing, Mr. Soggy Ramen? Okay, so we got a gentleman right there. We have a gentleman right here. There's another one back there. So we're okay right here for now. Or not. So he must have spotted me at least a little bit and come over to investigate earlier. That's interesting.
You weren't here two days ago. Got it. Well, I also played it in January, but yes, if you didn't see it in January either, then it had been quite a long time, but I've got to finish it before the uh, new one comes out, and that's like May, so uh, maybe two months or so, but then we've also got Jedi Survivor. Oh, jeez. I thought it was later May. No! <laughs> Damn it! No! <laughs> or like maybe the middle of May. Yeah, I think it's the middle of May, because I think Jedi Survivor comes out, and then we've got, like, two or three weeks, and then Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. Uh... Another streamer has a countdown in her stream description. It's not something I actually know offhand. Okay. I keep notes about significant game releases in my stream notes for future planning and stuff. I just don't remember offhand what they are because that's why I keep the notes so I don't have to remember. Jessica, how are you doing? Wow, you can get away with a lot if you've got a banana. If you get caught, don't run or fight. Resistance is futile. I'll keep that in mind. How goes, Jessica? It's great to have you here. I hope all is well. I might try to actually get the stuff now that I know how to do that. Um, doing well, just testing things on PTS in ESO. What is PTS? I need these. Wow. Damn it. <laughs> At least this was early. public test server. Okay. So, same as PTS on, um, what's it? You know, the thing. That one. The other one. Um, 
Star Citizen. But it's the test server. You can do anything with no cost. It's like having all the things in the game laid out to you. Yeah, okay. No, not 76. Well, probably that too. Not the one I was thinking of, though. We have ads starting in about a minute, so if you guys don't mind, I'm going to go and take my first break of the evening, and then I'll be back in about five. So if you need to go out, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here, and we'll give this another run. This one here, this is not a shuttle. I mean, it, it's comparable. It's considered to be a sort of shuttle, but this is a Federation runabout, if I'm not mistaken. I love that you can get so up close to it. Look at that. That looks so nice. Ugh. They've done some good stuff with this just since the time I've been away. Oh. Okay. Oh. Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> You're kidding me. They stuck around? Who? Oh my god, the entire frickin' swarm stuck around and camped. Literally camped inside the train. Oh god. What? Three nanites for a whole gold nugget? Dude, that's such a ripoff. I'm sorry. I guess I didn't really need that helicopter specifically. November sniper now. ambush shotgun, damn it. Ah. Oh shit, not now. Add snipers to the list, apparently. Oh, and look at this, I'm coming up right on a shrine. That's really handy. Ah, oh my... Wow. Doing business with me. What was that? <laughs> Don't kill her. Don't kill her. That's it. That's all you've got. <laughs> oh, right. Let's not do that again. Oh my god. Thing. You don't scare me. Ah. God. Oh. 
<laughs> uh, curious to see where it's gonna dump my ship after I do this. Oh God. Oh, what did you? Are you freaking serious, game? What the hell? It. <laughs> Actually, hang on. Confidently, you cast the calm spell. Why, how cute. You cast the calm spell and the monster visibly relaxed. Why, now it's calmly and relaxedly ripping you to shreds and eating you. <sighs> you should have studied harder. Wow. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. What the? What? What is going on? Thatcher is looking for romance. She should look no further than her partner. It must be clear to everyone that Eden here is deeply in love with her. Thatcher bursts out laughing. Eden goes bright red. Get lost before I throw you in a cell. Portal on your mark. Okay, I am back. Hey, Greeny, how's it going? It's really good to see you. What's going on? And Cleric, thank you so much for five months. I really support, or I really support. I really thank you for the support and appreciate the resub. Hang on just one moment. There we go. I'm sure everybody's already following Greeny, but just in case. How's it going, Greeny? It's good to see you. I hope your night's going well. How was today? I know you said today was going to be a day, and I believe it. We are trying to do the Yiga Clan hideout. I am, you know, um, I, I don't want any actual spoilers, but spoilers, I'm considering that to be more along the lines of story stuff. Mechanically, I'm pretty open to to uh to assistance so let's talk to her again uh. yeah yeah banana banana place is dangerous can get out of here that's fine okay hey pie what's going on long day no spoilers necessary stay stealthy yeah i've gotten as far as i guess the third room out i'll show you I've made a little bit of progress. Oh, is the webcam not on? Actually, you know what? Honestly, 
I'm kind of okay with not having the webcam on. I didn't notice that it was not on. I forgot that when I'm doing console stuff, it's turned off. But... Oh, well, that's weird. That's better. Uh, day's been okay. I don't really consider the day to have truly started until I um, until I start streaming. If we're being honest, uh, you know what? What the heck? Up oh, there. I went to the trouble of fancying up the lights. I might as well put the camera on. Yesterday was one thing, tomorrow will be another. Oof, I am very sorry, Greeny. I hope it's not too terrible a thing. Now, what are the kind of the limits of stealth? Am I okay to just run around willy-nilly up here and not worry about it? Or do I need to actually sneak while I'm moving around this upper area? Also, Mr. R Soggy Ramen said earlier to not to try sneak attacking the bad guys. I'm not sure, though. He does seem to give bad advice every now and then. That's okay. I wasn't planning on trying it. Oh, you know what? Last time I was up here, I completely forgot to grab the chest. That was less than useful. Pretty sure you're free to rum. Okay. I enjoy sneaking just in general, so I'm going to probably keep on sneaking anyway. But it's good to know that I've got options. Now, what else is flammable in here? Not those, apparently. I haven't forgotten that much, Mr. Soggy Roman. Yeah. 
Here we go again. Uh, that's not what I had in mind. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to take advantage this time. Let's just do a quick run around and see what all is available to us here. Like, for example, what's up here? Oop, that's not going to work. Oh, sneaky. Okay, they don't actually seem to be losing track of me. Gotcha. Ah. <laughs> I'm impressed at how long I stayed alive. There's that. I was kind of hoping they might impale themselves on their own stakes. No such luck. How good is this game compared to the others? I am not the one to ask, actually. I am not a huge fan of the rest of the series. I played the original... Legend of Zelda from eons ago, and it was not bad. And then I played a bunch of Wind Waker, and I quite liked that one. And that's about it. I haven't really taken any of the others seriously at all. This is the first one I've really loved. Okay. So you don't even really need to necessarily stealth as such. Yeah, and that non-linear open-world nature of it is exactly why I like this one so much. The other ones look very, very... I don't know, they're... I'm sure they're fine. But they don't really appeal strongly to me. We are, Greeny, we are. We are talking Zelda.
They variate between linear and not. Some are straight stories. Yeah, mostly it comes down to... I, I appreciated the original Zelda because it was... Oops. It was very similar to a lot of other CRPGs of the time. In its presentation. But then, as they kept going and making more games, you know, there's no problem with the way they were making them. It just appealed less to me. They started going less RPG and more something else, and that's fine. It's just not really what I was looking to play. But this one, I love this one. You were waiting so much for me to get here. Uh, I honestly gotta tell you, Granny, I'm not really in love with it so far. What the heck? Oh, okay, he's just looking around. Whoops. I'm gonna vanish upstairs again for just a moment. You know what? I really don't need those gems. I think I can skip them. Most of the Zelda games are really focused on the puzzles. Yeah, and I think that's one of the things that I don't really love. I mean, I liked Wind Waker a lot because of the ocean going and exploring and all that kind of stuff and the puzzles were okay i never actually finished the game so i probably wasn't totally enthralled by the puzzles but it's that emphasis on the puzzle solving that really kind of just kills the series for me in a way oh he didn't spot me good I don't mind puzzles, I can quite enjoy them, but when it's the entire focus of the game, it's got to be something really, like, it, it, it basically it has to be Portal. <laughs> Did he actually spot me? You're kidding. definitely take those. <clears throat> I hope the sequel has more long-form dungeon puzzles. I like like the beasts in this game. I kind of don't. Unpopular opinion, but I kind of don't. I hope it's more of this. No can do, Greeny. It will not allow me to save. That's the source of 99% of my frustration with this level so far. 
I've tried a number of times, but it just says you cannot save right now. It's very annoying. And that's why. Damn it. So now we get to do it all over again. On the bright side, I'm getting a lot less stringent about my stealth and somehow mostly getting away with it. So I'm learning the limitations. No. Oh, God. Now we have to do the whole conversation over again. Yep. It somehow hadn't occurred to me that I might be able to actually just climb the wall. Help and tips, Mr. Soggy Roman, does not include backseat gaming. if I need to take that down because I never end up stealing the thing that's on it anyway.
Hey, Kraken. Was dead. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that one, Pilatius. What is it? Okay, we're going to try this way instead of going the way that I keep dying while trying. Jumping into spikes doesn't seem like a great idea. Well, I don't know. You never know until you try, right? What's the worst that can happen? was toast there. You keep asking what's the worst that could happen, and you keep getting really good examples, yet you keep asking. You never know when circumstances might change and a new worst thing might come up. You can't just assume. started playing Valheim again the other day. I didn't realize how much I missed being a Viking. Very nice. If you've played any of the Dynasty Warrior games, I have not. I've heard of it, and that's about all I can say about it. Oh, would you look at that? That looks very much like a false wall panel. with the Dynasty Warriors mechanics applied. Very cool. I'm 
duplex bow. Do I want to replace any of my other bows with another duplex bow? Fourteen times two. Eh, probably not. Okay. So I'll leave that. That looks very boss fight like. <laughs> Cutscene. Oh, we're here again. I remember this place. This is where I kept coming to from above instead of from the proper doorway. Funny how I couldn't use the magnetism to open the door from the other side. Relatable. Who the heck are you, and what are you doing in my napping spot? Again. Wait a minute. That thing on your hip, is that... Could it be a Sheikah Slate? If it's a Sheikah Slate, then that means... Yeah, it's you. You're that Link guy I've been looking for. What luck. My scouts are out in the field looking high and low, but you just wander into my hideout. Oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced myself yet. I've been here like five times, Granny. <laughs> I just only now arrived via the proper pathway. Master Koga. Okay. Let's make sure we've got an appropriate sword. I'll use a great thunder blade. Why not? going to be that kind of guy, is he? <laughs> oh, that's great. Lost my bow. Okay. Uh, Rude. 
Okay, I'm starting to lose some of the appeal of this bow. That's not so bad, though. You have to be a little bit closer to take advantage. Oh, arrows. Guess we'll go back to fire. They're not taking him down much. Try cold. Oh, I could go for the headshot. Oh. That's a little better. Sometimes the switch aiming is really tricky. know if I have enough arrows to brute force it, frankly. I do see the little arrow at the top of the hat, but it's really awkward to aim at. See, it would help if I... Damn it. I don't think I've got enough arrows for this. I'm going to try one of these.
This is not going to work. I don't have nearly enough arrows. I don't know. I'm not paying attention to what falls. I'm paying attention to him. Okay, they fall. Try that again. Who would have thought I'd be done in like this and by this guy of all people? You think I'm just going to let this stand, do you? I almost lost my temper there. What a pain. I can't go out this way. What to do? What to do? Ha! Huh, I got it. I need to bust out my serious moves. A secret technique fought by my... Taught by my father's mother's father. It will destroy you. This is the end. But we just went through this, buddy. Huh, maybe it's just a tad too big. Are you still over there? Well, no matter. Pretty soon you'll be gone. And not just from my line of sight. Only the leader of the Yiga clan can use this secret technique. It is the ultimate. <laughs> Coward, I shall be remembered. <laughs> the Yiga clan will track you to the ends of Hyrule. <laughs> that was amazing. Thunderhelm, a precious Gerudo heirloom reclaimed from the Yiga. It has the power to withstand Naboris's lightning. Guard it with your life until you can return it to Riju. I think it's more funny if he didn't even do a thing, Haggis, if it just randomly rolled over him. That's even better. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. We're done with the Yiga, and can I possibly, perhaps, finally... Yay! Now we never have to do that again.
And now I really desperately need to stock up on replacement arrows because I am dangerously low in all categories. So I think we're just going to run around and gear up a little bit again. Honestly, the most annoying part of the game? I don't know. I like it. I mean, I like it much more now that I'm done and don't have to do it again. But I like it. What's that? That looks suspicious. What is this fast travel you speak of, Greeny? Radiant Shield. I've got two of these. I don't know that I necessarily need it. Oh, except that's a that's a better shield. So never mind. I'm just going to leave that. What is this horse you speak of, Mr. Tagi Roman? I know of no such thing. Close enough to Gerudo Town. Yeah, we'll be going to probably the Oasis. Oh, hi. Rude. Ow. Stop that. Who throws a rock, really? Shield surf behind us and walrus. Stables are pretty good for finding the magazines left behind by what's her face. Otherwise, oh, and sometimes Beetle is there, I guess, and some other useful folk, but that's really about it. Beetle is where you were going with the stable thing. Oh, because does he actually carry arrows? It's been a while. I shopped with him yesterday or the day before, whichever it was. But uh, I didn't 
I don't really remember what he had in his inventory. Oh, no. see that looks like Gerudo town so the oasis should be down that way Elixirs are a terrible way to make money. It involves a lot of grinding and repetitive, boring work, and therefore it's undesirable. Not today, gentlefolk. Ow. I said not today. Speak of the devil. Hey. How are you feeling to... Oh, you appear to have a bladed rhino beetle. Beetle loves bladed rhino beetles. Would you consider giving it to me? You'd get something in return, of course. How about I give you this mighty elixir? I'll add this bad boy to my beetle collection. Yay. Anyway, back to business. I need arrows. Wow. Yay. <laughs> you know, for someone that likes Stardew so much, it's funny how averse you are to farming. It depends on the farming more than anything. I just throw four useless monster parts in with an ingredient and the elixir is worth 1.5 times the value of the combined items. So like four lionel horns and a grasshopper or something. Sells for like 2,000 rupees? Okay, I might have to reconsider my stance on that then, Mr. Soggy Roman. If I happen to have really good stuff. Okay. She only has the one of each type. Okay, let's go to Kakariko Village. Oh, 
Oasis is better? What do you mean? Isn't this the Oasis? Or do you mean over here? Who else has stuff to sell? Oh, she's got food. Nope, not him. Yeah, the town will be the last place I go, though. I mean, literally the last place, because we're just going to go around. We're going to shop for ammunition. I'm going to get arrows. And then I'm going to go back, because I've got the helmet, and I need to talk to them anyway. But I want to have stuff, because they're undoubtedly going to send me somewhere. So I want to be prepared. Because I've used so many arrows on so many things, and it's been probably two years since I restocked on arrows. Like, literally since the beginning of 2021. in there. Oh, crap. We have ads in progress. Damn it. I'll be back in a minute. No. No, Cassandra. No. Damn it. You... Only mistake was you showing your face. You committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's just now. You'll taste my well, sword. Well, another maggot. I'm not afraid of my <sighs> Not impressed. Thanks, guys. It's really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Now, do we trust these strange pigeon sister brothers? But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. <laughs> this is making me so incredible. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. I didn't notice right away. Well,. I wouldn't say walking, more like this sort of brisk jog that he's doing. Not quite a run, but definitely faster than a walk. I mean, I could walk the whole way, but that seems like it would be excessively slow. Thank you, Greeny Soggy and uh, Mad. Thank you, Pi. I guess the first thing I need to figure out is where the heck is Kakariko Village again? That's the Rito Village. That's all that crap. Kakariko, there we go. Okay. Well, come on in, Jarek. Enjoy breakfast. Besides, I gotta get reacquainted with the map. It's been a couple of years since I spent any real time in this game. I mean, I know I want to finish relatively fast, but relatively is in there for a reason. I don't have to finish it today. 
I can take some time to refamiliarize myself with the landscape a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to go over every inch of the entire map again, but... I can at least look around some. Still so thankful and excited about that. Oh, how did you get ahead of me? What the heck? If you find another, please come again tomorrow. I'm just going to concentrate all my love on this little guy for today. Oh, he's restocked on arrows. Not bad. No, I'm good. Thank you, Beetle. Okay, it looks like we are out of the cold, so let's... Nope, wrong. There we are. Have a fantastic night, Kraken. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I really appreciate it. Catch you again soon. <laughs> Who might you be? You look highly suspicious. What the heck is this? <laughs> oh, right. I remember these pathways. The old man on the cliffside bite? Ah, uh, we already dealt with him. If you mean the Jaeger clan guy. Can I put down a marker somewhere? What do I need to do?
There we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> nice. I'm not too crazy about them either. I mean, they're kind of funny, but even so. If I just had a horse, I could keep traveling on my way. Please, please find and bring me a horse. Oh, I remember getting that mission. I hate to break it to you, sir, but uh, the chances of that ever happening are... Well, they might as well be zero. I'm afraid you're going to be stuck there for the rest of your life. We also need to find some more, uh, we need to find some more temple thing shrines to do. Oh, he got away. You know, just running around this landscape is super relaxing. That's another reason I don't tend to, like, I will occasionally fast travel, and I might if it's going to take a million years to gather the arrows I want. But uh, I, I really genuinely do just enjoy walking and hang gliding around the environment. Welcome in, Bluefire. How are you doing today? Okay, we've clearly been there before. I don't remember what that mountain is, though. Let's take a look at the bounty I've got so far. What have we got? No, oh, wow. Damn. Okay, that was the last of my fire arrows, so that was kind of a waste, but I'm pretty well set for normal arrows, at least. Is there a shrine hidden behind that waterfall by chance? Oh, thank you, Greeny. Actually, I've had tea this whole time and I haven't actually drank any. Posture, checked. Hmm. This one's already cold. Just get that one out of the way. Okay, thank you very much for the next stretch, and a terrible pun or dad joke, I can do that.
Why wouldn't the farmer close down his hay selling business? He was clutching at straws. There you go. Cheater. Wind Cleaver. This sword is favored by high ranking members of the Yiga. When wielded by a proficient fighter, its unique shape cleaves the very wind and creates a vacuum. Very handy for cleaning up. Oh, shoot. Right. Crap. Uh. this frickin' temple. Or shrine. I keep calling them temples. See, I want to say it's a under there, except this really isn't bearing that out at all. I don't really want to fight him, but I kind of have to run it around. Ooh, God. It's the worst time for it. At least I didn't fall far. Bad memory, four lionel horns and a grasshopper sells for 460. Okay. Well, I mean, you probably dragged that 2000 out of somewhere, right? So there's got to be something that sells for a price in that range, which means it might potentially be worth it at some point. I just gotta get the right recipes. Oh god, do you have to defeat him to get it? Because that's annoying. Or is it maybe down there somewhere? Is there a cave? Oh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna fight him because, oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back, Jarek. I'm less than a hundred channel points away from nothing? Amazing. That's quite the accomplishment. Two Lionel Guts and a Grasshopper is 860, so I'm assuming four guys and a Grasshopper? Okay. Man, he shook off that lightning hit real easily. Um. Who ticked off Thor? <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, so I guess this is just going to be a thing now. They're going to attack me forever at this point. Oh my god. Gotcha. Oh, are you kidding me? Not you guys, too. Uh, where's the other wind cleaver I've got? That's 14. I can get rid of the vicious sickle. Yeah, I've kind of noticed that, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I sold a bunch of something or other. And I made, like, close to a thousand. Without all the work and effort of going and making endless recipes in a thing. I kind of think of it as the difference between passive income and active income. Yeah, you'll probably make more with active income. But then you don't get to be passive about it. I hate fighting these things. I'm just gonna run away. There's no such thing as passive income until you're so rich it doesn't matter. I don't know if that's actually true. I mean, for a lot of people, it probably is true in effect. I think the difference mainly is that to get passive income otherwise requires a lot of effort, which makes it less passive in the beginning. Well, yeah, but the trick there is owning the farmland to rent out. Not everyone can do that. So for most people, that would involve having to get farmland to rent out.
Oh, go the uh, what? Okay, you know what? This is making a very good case for fast travel at this point. <laughs> These guys, too. Okay. To hell with it. Where are we? Where's Kakariko? We still got a long way to go, don't we? I guess it's not that far, but it's far enough. Well, I don't know about that, Kraken. I mean, I was reading just the other day about a guy that turned kind of like a side thing that he was doing into a primary source of income because he just, he bought a boat and started renting out the boat for things and started earning way more money than you might expect. I mean, it's kind of like being a landlord, except you're not rent renting out a place to live. You're just renting out another thing. There's probably a lot of things like that that people could do to make money, but they never think of doing it. Also, it's not as easy as it sounds, because you got to... You know, be aware of regulations and laws and requirements and paperwork and all kinds of stuff. And it's not exactly cheap to get started in any of those things, but that's, you know, the whole passive income isn't exactly passive to begin with thing. A friend of mine bought a few houses to fix up and rent and kept saying he was on his way to becoming a slumlord. Wow. My hobby got turned into a business which is now failing a bit due to lack of time, but did so by fluke. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, there are ways. There are ways. Just not necessarily easy ways. Or cheap ways. But there are ways. That's an interesting idea, though, Jarek. I hope that works out. Well, that's true. But, I mean, depending on what it is, it might turn into something that's not passive, or if you build it up with you know, the idea of specifically making it into a passive income, then maybe it will be something that's passive later on. I mean, passive doesn't just happen by accident. You put work into it initially, and then ideally it makes money for you later with minimal or no effort. That's the theory, at least. I'm not speaking from experience here. Well, there's other stuff as well, like uh, products that you can put out there. A lot of people make passive income from doing things like if they have a particular amount of knowledge about a subject, they might write courses that people can study from to learn from their experience. And 
put them up for sale on the internet so that people can, uh, you know, do that and pay for the thing. And then if they get a reasonable number of sales of that, it, it's a thing that you don't have to keep working on. It's just there and it brings in money. Kind of like royalties for a musician or whatever. You do the thing, you put the thing out, people buy the thing, you get the money, and that goes on, and eventually it trails off. So if you want to turn it into a significant stream, you have to create create, create more things, but that's a thing that people do. Yeah, I don't think child support counts as passive anything. Free-range children. That idea used to work. It's not as popular these days as it was in the 80s, though, Grinny. Man, it's harder to glide off a wall than you would think it is. That probably belongs to the stable, doesn't it? Never mind. I don't know if that's all right so much, Mr. Sagi Ramen, as if you pee on it, no one else wants it. You can give me directions, can you? Where to? They're so wild till you calm them. It's gonna be one crazy ride, but there's no feeling quite like taming a wild stallion. Okay, that's not direction, mm. sir. Oh. Sorry, have to go. Eh? I didn't ask for your life story, sir. I'm just not interested in horses. When I was younger, I had a hard enough time getting my body fat over 4%. I've solved this problem in my middle age quite aggressively. Wow, I guess. I know the feeling, though. Uh, 
Okay, where's the other... Oh, not that one. The other village. Okay, we need to go there. So, where is... Oh, I don't have that marker anymore. Ow! What a jerk! Rude. Metabolism of a Dark Ages surf. That is Smurf and Guy confused. Hmm. Better be deactivated. Okay, if this guy's just hanging around, I imagine we're safe-ish. area. I think it was somewhere in here that I had one of my very first encounters with the Yiga clan. <laughs> right around this area. Just off the road. it looked. Oh god, okay, we've had another redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, folks. So, brace yourselves. Uh, 
All right. What did the waiter say when a customer asked, Waiter, will my pizza be long? No, sir. It will be round. There you go. Hey, Voidum, how's it going? <laughs> Be gone, enemy of my master. I am shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Wow, Kraken. I have never heard someone cause their lungs to so rapidly disintegrate by coughing and been sworn at so much. Wow. Oh, God. Not another one. Nobody warned me that killing the Yiga clan master was gonna make them angry. I mean, what did you expect? I was just going to do nothing. So, so far, it seems like I'm pretty okay to avoid them if I stay off the roads. If I'm too close to roads, though, they're just going to appear all the frickin' time. Is that about accurate? Because that's going to put a crimp in my traveling style. Even after defeating more than a hundred, they keep taking you on? Yeah, it seems that way. Sorry, no time to play right now, sir. I have places to be and things to do. Killing enemies stops them from spawning again until the next blood moon. That is true. But having enemies spawn doesn't really... It, it doesn't really inconvenience you if you're not just having to stop and fight them all the freaking time. So blowing right past them and ignoring them is often pretty effective. all my fire arrows.
What do you mean, makes them more likely to happen? Isn't it just a timed thing? Okay, so we're looking for the shop. Oh, wait a minute. Mm, no, that's dyes. That's armor. I think we've already got everything from here, don't we? Sophie. And yeah, I think we've already got all this stuff. expensive. I guess I could try selling some crap, though. It's time, but also has some randomness. So you have a minimum time between blood moons, but it can be like 8 days or 10 days or 521,600 days. How do we encourage it to be that last one? Because that sounds pretty nice. Okay. Sell me as much stuff as you'd like. Challenge accepted. Ah. No, oh, that's not as good. Um Unless you get a glitched blood moon, which happens every night, that sounds painful. Huh. 
Nope, I think that'll get me the arrows I wanted and leave me plenty of change. Ooh. Damn, that's expensive, <laughs> but I'll take it. It's every seven game days. I kind of thought it was something like that. I don't know if we'll run into one today. We might, but we had one last time I streamed this. If it was earlier in the stream, it might happen again. Okay, how's my arrow stock looking? Much, much better. I think we are going to stop back at Kakariko Village again. Where did we leave it? Kakariko Bridge. There we go. I guess that'll work. Good luck down there. I wish I could stay and help, but I've got places to be and things to do. Oh. This area down here is just all road. That's not going to be good. Oh, that's so obnoxious. Ow. I barely set foot on the frickin' road. Hey there, little help here maybe? Let's see what happens if I stay just off the road. Like, as far as I can without being in the water off the road. Oh. I actually want to be going more that way. Okay, I managed to at least cross the road without running into trouble immediately. Apparently, blood moons are used to clear the overworld's cache from loaded cells, so the farther you travel in the overworld, the more likely you are to spawn a blood moon. That makes a good deal of sense to me. That's a fun way of combining a necessary behind-the-scenes function with interesting gameplay. That's pretty darn cool. I should not have leaped. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> I was trying to stand up and rest here. Hey, Anstara, how's it going? Snarky, thank you so much for using your Prime sub here. I really, really appreciate that. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mipha's grace is ready. I confused them with my presence in the sky instead of on the ground. Oh, am I... wait. Am I going the wrong way? I might be going the wrong way. Getting close to two years, happy to be here, just getting into some Dwarf Fortress? Oh, that's fun. War Fortress is great. You know what this looks like. Sorry. Oh, crap. Ow. Come on, like... Oh, I already did that one. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Oh. I will be back in a few minutes, guys. We have ads beginning in just a minute. So I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be back very shortly. I don't know if we can take another hit. Was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> Magic from a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah, it's a Out of here, you son of a gun. Oh, jeez. No. 
Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. That freaking crab squid. Oh my god, so many... What is going on? Why are there so many dead people? Do we still... Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Hey! Hey! That's my tank! I'm starting to see the flaw in my carefully prepared plan here. That's a hell of an intro. Come, there's much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mistios. <laughs> <laughs> He's got so much reach. Holy crap. <laughs> that was the best. Did he shoot my fireball? Looks like the water might be too shallow for the water wheel. Uh-oh, are they hungry? Maybe this is more like Vanished than I thought. Oh god, they're out of food. Okay, this is definitely reminding me a little... It's so weird. That's impressive, though. I like that. Let's turn that on. Whoa! That was awfully close by. Could you keep that down, please? You're making it hard to aim. Thank Crap, now where'd it go? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, shoot. I forgot that melons are not a summer cr or not a spring crop. Okay, I am back. Intended behavior made to prevent a crash. Yep. Actually, the more you describe it, Mr. Soggy Ramen, the more impressed I am with the Blood Moon system. It makes a lot of sense, and it seems really cool and useful. Thank you, Greenie. A, A, what, what is that in, oh, save. <laughs> right, yes, probably not a bad idea. It's okay, Greenie, I'm fluent in typo. Thank you, Mad. Thank you, Ansara.
Certain actions, such as entering shrines before midnight, will skip a blood moon, but it will attempt to blood moon again the following night. That's interesting. Another cool thing with your clips is that it keeps reminding me about games I need to go back to. Honestly, that's one of the intended purposes, Jarek. The first is I do tend to prefer clips that are a little bit funny. But you'll notice a lot of clips are in there that aren't really not even necessarily funny or even particularly interesting, but they do help keep the history of the stream alive. It's kind of the 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 it's another extension of the lore of the library, really. Uh, you know, it's it's a way to remember what we played before. So one of the pieces of work I'm going to give myself to do uh, when I'm not actively streaming on the new schedule is I am going to go back to some games that I've streamed that I don't have clips from, and I'm going to do more of those, you know, the, the Cassie Discovered ones that uh, ideally, hopefully, use the original save data from the games that I streamed. But uh, if not, that at least give me a way to create some clips to remind people that, hey, this is a thing that I streamed a long time ago. I did it again. I really need to get out of this habit of just spamming the jump button. Oh, oh my god, I, that was so close. Holy crap. I need time again to go back to learn things. Yes, you do. I know it's not easy, but you've started. You're doing pretty good so far, from what I can tell, Greeny. And it'll be worth it in the end. Believe it. Having at least one clip in the mix from each game, that is the goal, Jarig. I've even put together a spreadsheet, because of course it's a spreadsheet, of all of the games that I have ever streamed, and which ones are represented so far in the clip show, and which ones are not. Oh. Oh, whew. I thought it was crashing on me for a moment. Why do I always think this is the one that sells arrows? Oh no! You have not restocked yet. Excuse me. That's rude. How dare you. Allure? Well, I, I meant the lore, Mr. Soggy Ramen, but allure works too. Nothing I put out has been edited at all? Okay. Well, I mean, but you've talked about it a little bit. Hey, Bill Zerb, how's it going? Welcome on in. All right, well, um... So now we gotta go all the way back out there, huh? Now, I have one Shrine Sphere. I need three more Shrines before I can do any upgrades. Really? 
Rito Village? Yeah, that's really far out of my way, though. I'm probably okay for arrows for now. Unless I need a specific type that I'm low on. Electrical arrows might be nice. Frost arrows. Where would I go for frost arrows or electrical arrows? No, I don't want to go on a shrine hunt. I mean, I do, but I'm getting close enough to taking on my third divine beast that I'd almost rather do that and then do a little shrine hunting. I just wanted to go for arrows before I go back and report my success at recovering the Thunder Helm. Check stables. Beetle can have different arrows. There's two stables from what I saw on our way back, so that shouldn't be a problem. I I don't know, Mr. Soggy Robin. Can you actually craft arrows? I don't remember this game having a huge crafting element, but maybe I just never found it. Okay. Well, if we want to go to a stable, I think there's one just, yeah, right here. That's a weird color for a horse. It's entirely possible that that's true, Mr. Soggy Ramen, but that doesn't mean I knew about it. <laughs> Who knew that goats were the enemies of trees? I don't like goats now. <laughs> oh, crap. No, I don't want to be on the road. Let's get off the road. Chickaloo tree nut. Oh my god. Get out of here. Also off the... Oh. Too much of everything. Too many roads. Too many things. Too much. Oh my god. Yeah, another one. Really? Ow!
I see you there. Don't you think I don't? Oh my god. Really? Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Beetle, there you are. What's up? Hey! Wow! You have a rugged rhino beetle in your inventory. Vegetable omelet. Uh, yes, I will take all of your finest arrows, please. Okay, thanks, sir. Okay, so next stable. Isn't there one right over... Yes, there's one right here. Okay. So we'll go maybe right here and... Remove this pin. The wild hold my beer. <laughs> you have a point. If I had known the Yiga clan were going to be out for that much blood, I would probably have just waited until I was ready to do the Ganon fight before taking them on, honestly. Because that's going to get real obnoxious real fast. Okay, so we're going that away. You saw nothing. You still saw nothing. Nothing at all, sir. I do like that they give you a means of escape. That's pretty convenient. Well, you know what I mean. As close as possible. Maybe would have redoubled my efforts to actually get the lava one done instead of rushing to do the desert one when I could theoretically have given myself more time. Oh, 
they have a fancy schmancy chest. I might have to murder them after all. Stop dodging. That's rude. Ah, damn it. Oh, that's not a very good bow, actually. Ow. Dragon Bone Boko Bat. Ah, uh, one left. Look, I might get a few of those back. Not too bad. That was not a fancy chest. Damn it. I was tricked and misled. Oh, you mean Majora's Mask? You know what? I actually do have that. I just keep forgetting. I haven't used it in two years. And also, it shouldn't surprise you that there are useful items out in the world that I have not picked up. You must remember... If I don't already have it, and oftentimes, even if I do already have it, I have no idea it exists. I think there is a thing in this place. Is it a thing that I want or a thing I should avoid the best of my ability? It's also quite possible I've already been through here and gotten the thing, whatever it might have been. Yes, I do have Majora's Mask. I had forgotten that I owned Majora's Mask. I also had completely forgotten what Majora's Mask actually did. That's a good suggestion that I will have to employ once I am able to stand upright. Uh, I think if there was something here, I probably already grabbed it. Pile of leaves? Ow. 
Ah. Okay. Sorry. I'm sure this is not going to come back to bite me. Oh, actually, I'm fine. Never mind. Ah, didn't quite get the dry landing. Coliseum ruins. Okay, so we've got explosive barrels. Oh, hello. I can't stop trembling. I thought I was ready for this. Don't pop out of nowhere and scare me like that. What are you doing? Me? I'm going into this arena to slay some monsters. If I emerge victorious, I'll get treasure and weapons beyond my wildest daydreams. Okay, I just need to keep my eye on the opponent. As long as I don't blink, this one's in the bag. Yeah, I got this. When a name appears like that, you've not been at the location before. Okay, that's, that's fair. be the stable. Let's get a little elevation so that I can glide down across the river. Okay, dropping that far did not really help my chances, but we'll see how far we get. I might make it after all anyway. There we go. What's up, Greeny? I do not remember. Oh. 
I had no idea I had gotten a quest from him, but I will take his money. Okay. Nope, I'm good, Beetle. Thank you. If you jump, but hold the jump button, it charges a super jump from which you can glide from even higher. Okay, I vaguely remember that now, but you know, like I said, it's been a bit. Okay, so now we're headed straight for the green. <laughs> Ravioli's Gale, yes. Okay, so jump button. Nice, I will have to remember that. Yeah, it's just exactly like the one that keeps saving me from dying completely. It's the Divine Beast bonus thingy. Also, it seems like there is a thing nearby. Well, it looks like it's empty now and needs to recharge. I'm not sure how long that's going to take, although... The elephant one seems to recharge reasonably fast. Oh, that's good. That'll be useful. Oh, yeah, that actually is recharging a lot faster than the elephant. Elephant is like 45 minutes, the gale is only around 5 or so.
Hey, nice. Whoa. Oh god. <laughs> Speaking of the elephant. <laughs> I, uh... I was unable to use my hang glider while I was falling. But at least I got the arrows. <laughs> Who needs an express elevator? Not this guy. Stop throwing rocks. Somebody's going to get hurt. steal this and bring it with me. Is there some kind of limitation on how far I can actually drag this thing? Or could I theoretically bring this across the entire freaking map? Thank you, Greenie. Beetle, we meet again. This instance of Beetle is already out. Rivali's Gale is now ready. He said it wrong. It's ravioli, damn it. What? People have brought chickens across the map in order to defeat difficult enemies? What is that supposed to mean? I am so curious. Hit a chicken three times and find out, and um, I'm going to take your word for it.
Why do I always want to use that button? Uh, let's see. What the heck? Dark Magician Girl, that is an amazing username. I love that. Welcome on in, and thank you so much for bringing your folks over with the raid. Uh, folks, if you are brand new here, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games. And uh, every once in a while, I throw in real-world actual brick Lego builds as well. So if any of that sounds good, please do feel free to hit the follow button. How was your stream this evening? What's going on? What brings you by? What were you playing? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that happens, Greeny. That uh, that happens to me all the time. It, it shouts you out instead. I would just do the other shout out and uh, yeah. Welcome on in, Dark Magician Girl. We'll uh, get you one form of shout out or another. So, welcome on in. What brings you by? What was your stream all about? How did it go? Please tell me all the things. I would love to know. Uh, if you are new here, I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Well, welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that was... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Thank you again so much for the raid. And uh, let me see. Let me just scroll up a little bit. Love hanging out with Dark Magic Girl and obviously enjoy being here. So this is fantastic. Well, it's wonderful to have you here, Dark Magician. Playing a 2D side scroller called Ask Libra. Well, that also has a really great name, Libra being book. So what is that one about? I'm very curious. Please uh, le please let me know. It was highly recommended to me, and so far it's amazing sauce. That sounds really cool. So welcome on in, everybody. Thank you so much for the follows. I appreciate it. And sense it all, what's going on? It's good to see you, too. Okay. Uh, oh, right. I was in combat. Gerudo Scimitar. I will pick that up. I'll get these. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> okay, I love that. That's so good. Also, because we have new people. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> for those of you who are new here, we've just had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke. And please, please keep in mind, these are named that for a reason. These are very much not good jokes and dad puns. They are terrible. So, with that warning in mind, here we go. All right. Why were the letters damp when they were delivered? They had postage due. There you go. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Oh, I think he's trying to come after me. Oh, I missed. That's annoying. I thought he was a little bit faster. There we go. Ow. <laughs> Whoops. Come on, Link. There we go. Gerudo Shield, which I can't take. What's this? Rusty Claymore, which I don't want. Oh, nice. Oh, you're very welcome, Dark Magician. Peeped off at TCGs at the moment, so I'm looking for nostalgia to collect. Uh, the story is fantastic so far and kind of trippy. Oh, that sounds cool. Hang on, let me scroll up a little bit. I lost chat there. A mystery to me for now. Well, that's okay. Libra is a book in some cases, but in Latin it is scales. Oh, you're right, you're right. Okay, so there is a scale mechanic that the user can utilize, and there is a motif of balance and karma in the game. Oh, that's neat. Okay, I like that. Now, when you say it's a mystery to you, do you just mean that you're not entirely sure what the story is yet, or is there an actual mystery component to it? Because I have a little bit of a weakness for mystery games as well. Though I haven't played nearly enough of them yet on stream, at least. You know, I wonder if this would be of any assistance in fighting that ginormous, stupid fish that I have to kill. Because that could be interesting. I'm just going to leave that there. I'm sure nobody will mind.
Like, you can tell things are not what they seem, and also I just started the game. Fair. That, oh, here we go. Here we go. Blood moon time again. Now, is my thing still here? Yes, it is. Perfect. It would appear that the answer is yes. Rocky is still here. Not there. I mean, she's only got one of each of the different types. I'll just go back to town. Well, I guess from here might also do to put the rest of the outfit on. Have a wonderful night, Dark Magic, Dark Magician. Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. I really appreciate it. It was great to meet you. I hope to catch you again soon. That felt a little unfair, but I had to. They probably won't appreciate it if I bring it into the town, so I'll just leave it there for now. And if it goes away, so be it. Welcome on in, Katus. And I apologize for pronouncing your name wrong. I'm certain I did. Uh. If you are looking for Lady Riju, she's on the second floor. Normally people aren't allowed into her sleeping quarters, but she has given you permission, it seems. Uh. Oh my. Be on your best manners. If she deems you to be a disturbance to her, it will not end well to you, for you. Okay, well. Second floor we go. I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Oh, you needn't say a word. As the chief of the Gerudo, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, as you've no doubt noticed, still but a child. The people look on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes, but even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be a worthy chief, and to prove to myself that I was worthy too. When my family heirloom was stolen, I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. Yes, your arrival in the midst of all this must be the work of Lady Urbosa. Now, please give me the helm. <laughs> How do I look?
Welcome back, Pi. Uh, memory time. Ah, oh, thank you, Greeny. Ah, well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> It's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, She's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this smelling power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure. To protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... <laughs> what? What was that? Oh god, we have ads starting very shortly. What timing. Oh no. I'm sorry folks. Hang on just a second. Anyway, what matters is how is it? Do I look all right? It looks good. I see. The threat Divine Beast Navaboris poses has only grown. Okay, I'm going to leave it at this because I don't think it's going to progress until I advance the dialogue. So I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll continue with the cutscene. That's probably better than rushing through it. Tabletops have the best return for me so far. For me, I think it's got to be RimWorld. Oh my... Baku reports that they found themselves briefly in some extra-dimensional space. External viewports revealed that they were surrounded by countless ships of alien design, suspended in a seemingly endless void. Before the crew could get their bearings, the vision abruptly faded and they found themselves back in regular space. However, roughly half the crew are missing. Science officer Abla Loblaku speculates that they may have been selectively trapped by some unknowable mechanism Oh, oh, that, nope, that, um, Shot blasts a new orifice in the side of the junk freighter. <laughs> Unfortunately, your inadequately protected ship is struck and subsequently destroyed in the bottleneck of metallic objects striving to pass through the same relatively small opening. Wooden barracks constructed in Mayo. 
I would normally want to build wooden barracks in the earth rather than in mayonnaise, but, you know, construction techniques were a little more primitive back then. You gotta make allowances. There you go. Uh, okay, I apologize, folks. That one snuck up on me. So I did a little bit more of the cutscene, but I just stopped at one point and we'll go through the rest of it now that the ads are done. The threat Divine Beast Vanaboris poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe that Gerudo Town itself may be in danger before long. As chief and as a Gerudo, I must find some way to stop that thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? Of course. <laughs> Who would have thought that just before such a momentous battle, hearing a simple, confident pledge of support would, from you would be what puts me at ease? Thank you, Greeny Pie and uh, Katoos. I'll head out now. Let's meet up at the lookout post south of town. There's only one way to get close to Naboris, and that's with the help of a sand seal. Oh, so I guess I am going to have to ride one. The lookout post isn't too far from town, but you should take a sand seal there. You can get some practice in that way. I'll be there waiting for you with my favorite sand seal, Patricia. Still, it really is a little big. Oh no, I lost it, damn it. If you're hoping to cross the vast Gerudo Desert, a sand seal is a must. I, it'd be silly not to have one. It's only 20 rupees to rent one. Need a shield too? Just pay 50 rupees. How do I set seal? Once you get hold of a sand seal, all you need to do is guide it in the direction you want to go. Sand seal surfing. So steer, let go, dash, right. Let's seal the deal. <laughs> seal you another time. Okay. Oh. You can't sand seal surf without a shield. Oh god. You know, th this is kind of a cheat against my um, my position of never riding a mount because I'm not riding a mount. I'm riding a shield. This might actually be acceptable. Now, were we going here? Or were we going there? I'm not sure. I'm gonna make a stop here and check it out just to be safe. Ooh. 
I'm shocked. Despite what the chief said, I wasn't expecting someone as short as you. But the chief must have her reasons for believing you can fight the Divine Beast. She's waiting for you at the top of the lookout post. Hurry up. So I guess this is the place then. Yep. Golden bow. What a sight. Divine Beast Van Naboris is pretty intimidating. If we want to get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you ready? Oh. Feeling confident? Good. Let's get going then. First, we'll use the sand seals to get in really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. I'm counting on you to shoot at its feet with bomb arrows. Good thing I stocked up. Naboris draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think you can stop it. Those lightning strikes, though, getting hit even once could prove fatal. The Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm. But it can also shield a limited area around me. You'll have to stay close if you don't want to be shocked. Mm -hmm. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lookout post. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. Here are some Gerudo bomb arrows. There aren't many, so make be sure to put them to good use. 20? That's that's a reasonable number. Could you give me a bit of room just for a moment? My name is Riju, descendant to the royal line and leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine beast Van Aboris. Ancestors of the Gerudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. Oh, wow. I can feel their power coursing through me. <laughs> Let's move. <laughs> Lady Urbosa, please grant Link and me your protection. Okay, let me just make sure here. 56 bomb arrows. All right. Oh, nope. Stay closer. Nope. This is awkward as heck. They are selected, aren't they? Oh, you're right, thank you. That would have been a hell of a lot more awkward. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not that fast. Come on.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Oh, God. No. Not now, Shrine Detector. Look out. We need to be closer to the front feed. Oh! Nope, nope. Thank you. Yes, I know. We're so far from the front feet, though. I'll have to go for the one that's angled closer. Thanks for the tip. No! wonder they give you 20. I'm not sure I'm going to do it with 50. Yeah, I think I might have to. Very, very at at. I appreciate it. Thank you. So basically, she can't do anything except get us closer to it. 
seems reasonable. Oh my god, it's a giant camel. I only just noticed that. Travel gate registered to map. Elephant, bird, camel, and lizard. Well, well, okay. Well. You sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. I can't wait to see you take Mavoris back from Ganon. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Yeah, the fire salamander. That one I picked up pretty easily. It's just, I don't really know why it took me a little bit to to sort of twig on the fact that this is a camel. But again, I guess this is really the first time I've actually had a good look at it too. One thing at a time, you'll need a map to find your way around. Okay. Over to that guidance stone over there. Sounds easy, right? Oh, I'm sure it's all kinds of difficult. Like, we've got this guy here, for example. Um... Or we did, anyway. Yeah, exactly, Greeny. So, you know, didn't really notice at first. How many of these do I have left? 32? Wow, that did use quite a few. Let's switch to regular arrows so I don't waste all of my bombs. Can't do much with that. Oh, well, <laughs> easy come, easy go. Chica Slate authenticated. Unable to activate main control unit. Unactivated terminals remain. All right. Oh, hello.
Maybe I will just keep the uh, bomb ones for the time being. They seem to be pretty useful, all things considered. I see you sneaking around over there. Hey, Poggy, what's going on? Enjoy your lurk. I appreciate you being here. Bomb arrows. I like it. Sheikah Slate Authenticated, Distilling Map of Divine Beast. So we've got five points of interest. Divine Beast controls have been enabled. the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Nabortis are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Nabortis back by activating all of the terminals. You're ready for this. Okay. Oh god, how do we get out there to get that chest? Yeah, I kind of figured I could. I just don't really see a compelling reason to change right now. Although, if we do have guardians hanging around, maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to be a little more stealth-like.
Still can't get through there. Um, oh. Okay. Nice. Is there anything here I can climb? Controls? What do you mean? <sighs> okay. It's been a bit. Thank you. I had indeed forgotten all about that. I was just wondering how you were supposed to do some of these things. Not quite what I had in mind. Ah, not quite. There we go. Better. Hmm. 
Hmm, wasn't really the one I was looking for. Hang on, hang on. That looks just about right to get over there. The question is, how the heck... Wait... I think I can do it now. Hmm, might be too far. Nope. Interesting. Whoops. <laughs> now, does this offer me a way inside this chamber here? I don't think that it does. Oh, healing. I guess that might be a thing. Aha! I thought so. Uh, 
I'm just not sure. Oh, oh, there's a terminal here. Okay. So that's one of the ones that I need to do then. So where am I? I'm there, so I need to move this one. Right here. There are four terminals remaining. I'm counting on you. Okay. So what have we got down here? I don't think there's anything I can really manipulate. We still have that thing there. I guess that's another one of the terminals. So let's... So we want to move that one. Actually, that's probably correct. Or is it? <laughs> oh, damn. There's one on each side? Crap. Okay. Well, at a minimum, it looks like the one that's on top now is in its correct orientation. So let's just move these. So that I have some hope of actually getting to it. Oh, crap. Ah! I, why did that turn so far?
Oh, that was just a chest. I'll still take it. That's fine. Okay, so we have to get further up for two of them, not just one. So is there... Yeah, there's a thing. There's definitely a thing. Wait, what I was going for? <laughs> not, not quite what I was going for. Not quite. Okay, so that's how I get back in. Or I can go in down that way, I'm assuming. 
Let's explore over this way. Come on. Now that looks like it needs powering. How? I haven't the faintest idea. Let's try not to fall off the Divine Beast. Oh, crap. So it looks like it's below me. This is not offering a lot of fine grain control, is it? I saw a thing. We need the thing again. It went blue. There. We have the thing. What did that get me? Because there's no thing over here as well. Do I need both of them? I probably need both of them. Let's just look over at this side and see if a thing ever changes. Yes. A thing definitely changes. Except, hang on. Oh god. Okay, I think I see how this is working. There we go. Can't touch that ever again. I have, Pi. I have. Took me a bit, but I got there. Okay. Three remaining. Okay. 
I see you hanging out in there. Oh, and you're on a sneaky little elevator, too. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't look like where I'm supposed to be. Looks a bit different there. Oh, back. <laughs> Oops. So in spite of how it might initially appear, the gradually rotating corridor full of spikes of death is not a good place to go. Noted. Yeah. You weren't expecting a void out there. I thought I could make it back to the ground. But then I guess if you actually did make it back to the ground, you'd be in a bit of a bind. Where do you go from there? Okay, so how's our camel model looking? Looks like we actually still have one thing in this main chamber that we can do. If I'm not reading this correctly. And it's behind me and upwards. So I'm not entirely sure about that one. Now it's below me. Crap. Missed it. Oh, wow. I wasn't sure I was going to make that.
Okay, so I've actually been there. Or have I? Yes, I have. Yes, indeed, I have. Okay. So no need to worry about this anymore. Alright, guys, it looks like we have gone a bit late tonight. So I have to do one more ad session. And then we'll keep going for just a little bit more. But I have to wrap up soon. So I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be right back. And when they pulled it out, there you were. What is going on in the background there? What was that explosion? Was it worth it? Oh my god, it's GLaDOS. On a scale of one to six? Ah, I'd say I'm setting it up. Strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamine misses you. Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Oh my god, it is GLaDOS. Really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. What the fuck? I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. <laughs> oh my god! The dog alerting her, even though I don't have the opportunity to move it? That certainly seems to be her goal. Sorry. Hey, I have not. I have not looted that, sir. for you? That Aloy. We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Danak sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Did he shoot my fireball? Okay, I'm back. Let's take another crack at this. Alright, now it kind of looks like I need to use this area over here to get to the terminal. No! Don't close, damn it! Ugh. Thank you, Pilatius.
this actually doesn't really look quite right. I guess we go up in up top. Right, we go in over that way. Of course we do. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Haven't we already established that that is bad? I'm pretty sure we've established that that's bad. Okay, well, let's try flipping the center around. both just chests and I've already got both of them. Okay. Never mind. Oh, it is here. Crap. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I see. I see. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's going to be so tricky.
No! Damn it. Oh, I always forget that it translates the opposite direction. That's not good. Damn it. I don't think there was a full look around in there. What do you, I, I don't know what you mean. What are you saying? Sorry, this puzzle has me really sucked in. Spiky tunnel? Hmm. Okay, so the terminal's there. I need to be on this part, but on the opposite side. So I think what I need is to turn it while I'm here. No, damn it. That was pretty darn close. I might have to save this for next time, guys. I think I'm getting a little bit too tired. I'm not quite agile enough to make these fine precision moves the way I need to. 
But we're probably going to play this again tomorrow night, so maybe we'll just do that. Also, I'm finding that I'm getting so intent on this that I'm just kind of ignoring you guys in chat, too, so I apologize for that. Why don't we call it here? We'll carry on tomorrow when I'm a little bit more fresh. And we'll see how things go, because I've got some stuff i got to do before I can go to sleep anyway. So, I think we're going to go find somebody to raid. And then we'll finish Divine Beast Naboris tomorrow. Okay, let's see. It looks like Ms. A Game is online. I don't know what she's going to be playing, but she's currently on Just Chatting. Oh, hey, KMC. It's good to see you. Thank you, Rhubarb, for being here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. So we've got Ms. A game. Oh, interesting. Oh, Mandy must be doing some kind of a sponsored stream, so maybe we'll go raid her to help out, even though we ra did raid her last night. Uh, she's playing something called Nitro Stream Racing, which I wouldn't mind learning about, honestly. And she does have hashtag ad in her stream title, plus she's got drops enabled. So we could do that if you guys are interested in that. I always like to help out a friend who's doing uh, sponsored stuff. We've also got Simcopter1 playing Project Zomboid. He's been doing that for a little bit now, and I have the game. I enjoy the game. I haven't played a lot of the game because I'm not very good at it, so it would be a good opportunity to learn a little bit more. What are you guys thinking? Do you want to do Ms. A game with currently just chatting, but it looks like she's going to play something in a little bit? Or tea with Mandy, doing some Nitro stream racing and help her out with a sponsored, or at least I assume a sponsored stream. Doesn't actually say that it's sponsored, but uh, she's, yeah, I, I, I expect that it is. And, or we could go with uh, Simcopter with Project Zomboid. What are you guys feeling? Just let me know in chat. And uh, I can't guarantee that it will dictate where we go, but it will certainly influence where we go. Okay, so Ms. A game sponsored. Anyone else? Let's see if we can break the tie. No preference for me, but helping friends out with sponsored streams is always nice. Okay, we'll go with Mandy then. All right, let me just load up her channel. Okay, guys. We're going to go raid tea with Mandy. Thank you guys all so much. Thank you folks all so much for hanging out tonight. It really means a lot. I've been having a lot of fun with Breath of the Wild. It's a bit of a learning curve, but you guys have helped me a lot to remember stuff that I used to know about the game that I have since forgotten. So that's really, really handy. I appreciate it. Um, okay, you've got that. Let's get the raid call here at the library of lore we use library raid you've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub if you're not a sub you can use the twitch raid and the tomb raid emote in either case sub or non-sub please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid if you have emotes of your own or maybe some from another streamer or from twitch themselves that you'd like to use feel free to copy the raid message Arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear, and it will all be good in my book. So let's get over to Mandy's channel and see how uh, this, what is it, Nitro Stream Racing is going. I'm very curious about it. I expect it's kind of like marbles, so uh, be very interested to see how that is. And I will see you guys over in her channel in just a moment. I will be back tomorrow night, and I am very much suspecting that we're going to continue our Breath of the Wild. So we'll see if we can figure out the remainder of this uh, Divine Beast then. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I'll catch you again real soon.
mission. There we go. Okay. Oh. Ooh, good job, Lock Over. Yes. That's all good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so terrible. And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that looks...